Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me on this new Worm Whisperer video. Today I'm going to review something I was thinking about in our last training worm video. In my last video, it was a bit confusing because I was talking about the good and bad bacteria in your storage worm castings. On one hand, I was talking about keeping the worm castings bacteria healthy and thriving. And on the other hand, I was talking about getting bacteria that is anaerobic in the bottom of your worm casting storage. So this will lead into this video about what type of microscopic organisms are living in that worm bin. This is an interesting topic, so I hope you'll stay tuned for this learning opportunity. When you look into your worm bin, you are see used to seeing worms. What you can't see is the billions of bacteria, hundreds of feet of fungal hyphae, thousands of protozoa, and finally nematodes living in your worm bin. Those things might not mean much, but they are an important part of worm health and worm bin health. These little guys and girls are working in your worm bin hard with your worms to break down food for your worms and are digested by your worms and help your plants get nutrients when it's all finished and the worms are all done with the worm castings. First off, what are bacteria? Bacteria are the most abundant organisms in your vermicomposting system. These microscopic little things are the primary decomposters in your worm bin. Prize, right? I bet some of you thought it was your worms, but you know that's okay because this is a learning channel, so it's all right. Bacteria in your worm bin are able to simplify other organic matter and make it more available to your composting worms and also other organisms in your worm bin as well. Bacteria Bacteria exists in two places in your worm bin, in the bin itself and the bedding and the worm castings and also in the worm's gut. The cool thing about this is that a degree of the worm's nutrition is from the microscopic organisms living in your worm bin, the same ones that are colonizing your organic matter. What type of bacteria in your bin gives that nice earthy smell? Have you ever wondered what that type of bacteria that gives your bin the nice earthy smell that, that you like and lets you know that your bin is healthy? These type of bacteria are called actoenzymonites and are higher form of bacteria in your worm bin. Another cool thing about these bacteria is that they are also crucial for the formation of humus in your worm bin. But not only that, but they also help release various nutrients for your plants in your vermicompost. So what is the difference? Well, there are two types of bacteria, one that lives with oxygen and one that lives without oxygen. The ones you want in your bin are the ones that live with oxygen, like the ones that we just discussed earlier. You can tell that you you can tell that you have these types of bacteria in your bin by the smell. Your bin should look healthy and smell healthy. If this is the case, you have good healthy bacteria in your worm bin. On the other hand, if you have the kind of bacteria you don't want or without oxygen, you will smell it in your worm bin before you will see anything. These bacteria will make your worm bin smell foul and your worms will not be happy in the bin and may even try to escape if it is really bad. The same goes for your worm castings in storage. If they have these bad bacteria, they will smell foul and these worm castings are not good for your plants or your worms. The importance of keeping your worm castings damp. It is very important to keep your worm bin moist in order to keep the bacteria healthy in your bin. Once the bin is completely dry, not only will it kill the worms, but also the micro life in the bin. After harvest, if the worm castings do dry out, they will no longer contain any bacteria. However, you can still use them in your garden and they will pick up new micro life once added back to the garden. Well, that will wrap up our talk about bacteria in your worm bin and worm castings. You don't have to see these hardworking microorganisms, but they are there and working to make your vermicomposting bin that much better. Thank you for joining me on this video and I appreciate all your support for my video and content. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you all next time and have a great day worm farming. Goodbye.